All right, we are back at it again. Terrytown, here we come. I told you we were going back. Sorry for I'm not really supposed to be using it. my phone on this train recording. But as you can see, my daughter has broken her leg. I don't feel sorry for her. But what she did was real dumb. Anyway, um, I'm upset about it. I'm going on a vacation and now half along Cassidy is holding us back. That's alright, we love her anyway. So, uh, I'm on the train to Terrytown. I have no idea what station I'm at, but anyway. Y'all hold on. Uh, talk to y'all in the future. Listen, we about to get off this train, people. Yeah. You know? It's amazing how sometimes you can come across funny stuff. Let's see if we can catch it. I'm not really sure, though. Hey, don't use that language. Yo, we in Terrytown. I'm gonna have to help my child. Cause our brother's back there complaining, but he won't help. Excuse me. Yo, we in Terrytown, having a nice time. Not her. You see her, she all jacked up. Do me a favor, my son's lost his mind. Why are you yelling? Stop yelling. Oh man, we finally made it. We at the hotel. Look at my editor all jacked up with her broken leg. Say hi to the camera. She a little emotional right now. Anyway, um, we here, man. We chilling. We finally arrived. I am tired. What's your phone? I have no idea what your phone is. You had it in the car. Not your phone. Um, you yeah, man. We're going to do some, something a little bit more than last time to Terry Town. I definitely got to get out and get some shots. I'm not going to make, I promise, this will not be a 55-minute vacation video. Not going to happen. Little small clips. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm at the hotel room now. The room is not that bad. You can see it. Got the nice TV over there. Coffee station. Keurig. No, I don't sponsor them. I'm not sponsored by them or anything else. I'm just giving them a shout-out. Got the recliner chair in the corner. Nice little lamp. Right here. Little table. And the bed. So, oh, that's a nice little art piece on the wall, too. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't mind um, trying to take a picture of something like that. That would be pretty cool. A nice monochrome. Oh, you know what? Even better. I'm working on some, some um, mixed color stuff. So, do a little monochrome, right? And then see, I can get a stillness of the water. And then the, 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 the pier. Try to have like a nice little um, glow of color. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying some different stuff. I really am. Um, but we here now. Anyway, y'all, take it easy. I'm trying to make sure that this vacation video is not more than 17 minutes, no matter what. That's the most I'm probably going to get out of y'all, 17. Anyway, we in Terrytown. Shout out to everybody in Terrytown. Y'all take care. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm irritated. You know why? Because she got that thing on. But listen, I didn't get much yesterday. We went to the pool last night, and it was a catastrophe, even though I had a lot of fun. My legs, you know, they're a little jacked up sometimes. You know, so getting in the pool, I was really agitated. I was in pain. I was sitting there talking about, oh, man. But it was okay, though. Um, today, we got music on. We can't really play much of this because we don't want anybody flagging us, talking about, oh, y'all soliciting and all kinds of nonsense. I don't understand the lingo of that. All I know is enough to know this. It sucks. Anyway, um, today, we're going to the scenic boardwalk. Now, not everybody's going. Because uh, my daughter, she's a little jacked up. She broke her leg, y'all. It was... <laughs> I'm sorry. You know why, that, why I can laugh? Because it's moments like this that you have to laugh. When that first happened, oh, I wanted to just... But I couldn't do that. So I'm like, okay, you know, because she was going to mess up my vacation. But we still got to go. But it was rough getting here. So now that she's here, it's okay. Now she's hopping towards me now. Send help, please. Yeah. He's attacking me. Anyway, yeah, um, so I'm going to get out a little bit later on today. You know, I met some people, right? Um, this 
this guy named Walter. Pretty cool. Dived with me in the pool yesterday. I was I wasn't expecting it. Caught me off guard, but it was funny. Um I feel like a big kid for a moment. Here's this guy who I don't really know just dived with me. But it was funny. So I enjoyed it. It was all good. And uh his he has his girlfriend with him, and that's pretty cool. Um anyway, he caught me off guard. He says, Hey man, you're a professional I was taking a picture of something, and y'all see it on my website, and I think it was, I think it's actually website worthy, I'm not really sure. But my daughter actually on this particular, I told you the last time I keep saying, oh, she'll post it at the end of the video. But we never do, because I always forget to tell her. So give me one second, because this screen is disgusting. Yeah, that's better. A lot better. Um, yeah, so this time I actually want her to her to show the picture after it's fully edited on um the end of this video because i think it was a really cool shot i got like this patio view i paid a little extra for the hotel listen i ain't got like that but i did save saving is everything i mean if you plan way ahead most of the time you can have a dynamic vacation if you plan way ahead of time and have the discipline to save the money um most of the time let's say for instance you want to go someplace like key west key west is ridiculously expensive However, if you have the patience, you can go to Key West and ball out. And that's euphemism for just like really splurge and hang out. Why? Let's say, for instance, you get a really, you say, I want a really good hotel right on the beach. I'm sorry about that. It was technical difficulties. It really wasn't that technical. My wife called me in the middle of the video. Leave it to her to do that. But it was all good. Shout out to my Golden Fox. Anyway, so um, let's say, for instance, you want to get a really good hotel on the beach. That's going to cost you like $349 a night. In Key West, it's very expensive. However, look at what they're offering you. Most likely, for that price, <clears throat> you're going to get some breakfast. And we're talking about Key West. So you ain't going to get no do-it-yourself waffle, a little rusty piece of bread like you would get at uh, uh, Super 8 or something like that, which is fine. I've stayed in some Super 8s, and um, it, they, they, they're pretty good, you know? Um, uh, but anyway... You probably get a good good breakfast, you know, eggs, bacon, sauce, the whole works. Because they're going to give you your money's worth. Now, what else are they offering you? Nice rooms. Why? Because they can't come cheap. They're, this is Key West. People who got money, people who are rich, they come to these places and they leave reviews. So you see, most of the time, and I'm being honest, I can't speak for everybody, but minorities, um, I don't like to use colors of uh, a race on video because that means they give the impression that I'm actually stereotyping. I'm not. But people who are minorities or people of color, I'll leave it at that. A lot of time they don't take our time to complain. They don't take our time to review. They don't take our time to do, um, what do you call those things? Um, statistic reports. It's a certain name. I can't think of it. Um, surveys. They don't take the surveys. Why? Because whatever reason, we just don't do it. We, you know, we spend our money. We have a good time. We're going home. You know, but um, what's interesting is, is that when you do this, you have to step your game up because they have to appease to those people who come in to spend that money. What else are you getting? Out your door, right to the nice white sand. What else are you getting? The portion of the ocean or wherever it's coming from that's really nice and clean. You can probably see the blueness of the water. And so you're paying for that ambiance that's amazing. Trees around you, good local shops, the works. Now, you ask yourself, how long do I want to stay there? It's up to you because you have to invest in your own good time. Let's say, for instance, you want to stay there two weeks. You're talking about right there off top, $3,500. Right off top. That's not even your travel time. That's not even your travel time. Or travel course, I should say. You fly over there, maybe cheaper because you take Amtrak, might be a little bit more expensive because you're traveling that far. But let's say, for instance, you take you your airplane. That's another five hundred dollars round trip. That's four grand. You gotta eat because Key West is expensive. So they may give you breakfast, but they ain't giving you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So now what happens? So now you figure, how much am I going to eat per day? If you got a family, it's even more. So you have to think ahead of time. How many paychecks? Let's say you round everything off, entertainment, you name it, add on another. If you really want to ball out, go to nice shops, eat the best food, let's say another five grand. So you talking about my eight, my vacation is going to cost me at the very minimum about $9,000.
to go to Key West and have an amazing time. Add on another fifteen hundred just in case costs. You're talking about right there, ten thousand five hundred dollars. People say, "Fool, I ain't paying no ten thousand five hundred dollars for that vacation. I ain't rich." You don't have to be. If you say, for instance, you want to go to Key West in twenty twenty three. You have now just given yourself 365 days from today to save that money. And let's say, for instance, you still don't have enough. Sometimes you, if you have a certain kind of job, take out a small loan. A pinch a little pinch loan. Take a small amount out your check. That spots you some extra cash. Or let's say you're going to do it in 2024. Oh, please, you can save that money in ease. Open up a bank account just for that. And guess what? You in Key West, Key West, excuse me, balling like the best of them. And the people think you rich because the way you rolling. I ain't rich. I just saved. I was responsible. Hold on. I'll get back to y'all. Next time y'all see me, I'll be outside on the boardwalk. Oh, not boardwalk. Uh, the scenic walk. Anyway, take care. All right. You know, I'm out here getting some shots. See the camera? See the camera? See me? Silver. Silver Fox. Anyway, um, I mean, silly. Uh, yeah, it's a nice area, man. This is beautiful. Like, you see this little statue of this this thing? At first, I thought it was real. I'm like, listen, I'm not going near that thing. But it's a statue, so I'm going to get a little closer. See him. We can take a better picture of it. We got a couple of landscape shots out here. Somebody might be interested. You never know. Sometimes people just see things and it catches their attention. I'm waiting for the gentleman. I haven't seen him or his girlfriend. This one is I'm taking advantage of it. I tell you from deep, this thing look real. Hey. <laughs> right? Then you get closer, you see it's not. But I'm guessing it's supposed to scare things away. Sometimes they do stuff like that. Well, shout out to the little, little guy. Let's see if we can get a shot of him. A little closer. That's the goal, anyway. He look a little standoffish to me. I ain't got it on auto. I didn't have it on auto. Probably that's the best shot. I'm not even checking it. Because the ones I did get, I'm pretty content with. Let me go find Walter and his girlfriend, Tara. Shout out to them. Uh, good people. Had fun with them in the pool yesterday, joking around. <laughs> good people. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm trying to keep this video short. So uh, that way, the vacation is not too much. My family's in the hotel room. But look how gorgeous it's out here. Got birds chirping. Man, I think you want a barbecue, right? Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. I have a one inch bigger line. How do I not have a knockdown case? Can George talk? No, nah, Kisha can't read backwards. I am not sp sponsored by them. I'm not repping them. However, I do need to highlight them. That's Milo's. Talked about them last time. This Milo's right here. Hashtag no sponsors. Not sponsored. Listen, whatever it is, I gotta say. I ain't. I, listen, I have no affiliation with Milo's, other than the fact that I'm going to drink this entire gallon, gallon, not over a one day period. I can't do that. I could, but I'm not going to. Over the next couple of days. I mean, this is a spur to me. I love this stuff, yo. This is the only tea that I really drink outside of my wife's. She makes this tea from this powder. It's really good. Really good. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. That tea has actually started problems in the gathering. One time, friends were fighting over it. They was upset because because they couldn't get any more. That's another story. Anyway, um, I'm heading out to the Hudson uh, Scenic uh, Walk with my son, A.K.A. Mr. Grumpy. Y'all met him before. Hopefully, he has a good spirit today. Because if not, y'all ain't gonna see him again. Anyway, I'll see y'all out there in a few minutes. Oh man, we in Terrytown. It's kind of nip today, man. Seriously. We was on the right bus. A good Samaritan, she thought she was doing us a favor, told us, no, get off right here. And we listened to her. And uh, now we are in the wrong location because if, if she wasn't wrong, if we had to take in the route that she said, 
uh, it would have took us an hour and 40 minute walk to get to where she is. I'm not opposed to walking, I know that, but not today. Uh, so right now we're, we're waiting on the bus again to get back on to get to our location and then I can feel better about myself. Anyway, I'll let y'all see where we're going. Uh, nowhere especially. This is where we wanted to go last time, the scenic walk by the Hudson River. Anyway, y'all take care. I'll see y'all in a few. My son is excited about a photo. My eye is blurry. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. So, no, you're good to go. Hey, listen. All right, everybody. Listen. No distraction. You had one of them little bad butts running through. I love it. I love to see kids happy. Anyway, here we are. See, it's not gorgeous. I'm telling you, New York, New York is not gorgeous. I mean, people pay a lot of money to go see. Pay to You're fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. It's okay. People pay a lot of money to see views and sunsets like this. Look at that. And guess what? It didn't cost me nothing. I just had to walk over here. Got some exercise too. Can't beat it. Um, with my son. There he is. All right, you and your peace sign. Whatever that means. Uh, yeah, this is gorgeous, man. So I'm, I'm actually gonna take a quick picture because we've been walking a little bit. And uh, this is a person who wants to go get a gyro. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't mind one myself. I think that's the tapping Z, if I'm mistaken. I caught a picture of that bridge last time I posted it on my website. Y'all want a copy of that. It was kind of dim. Light like this, you won't get a good shot of that uh, that bridge because of the haze from the sun. Either you need a really dreary day and you can create your own light, or you need a really bright sunny day and you adjust. But this, like this, this, this sunset, you're not going to get a good shot. Huh? All right. Anyway, got to go. Guys, we're walking through Terrytown. Going to go find Main Street Pizza, but I have to show you this. This is a small clip. See this? Little free library. You see that? All you have to do is slide that latch, and you can put your books in there, leave them, and the people who work here will put them away. Bronx, New York? Absolutely not. Either somebody will set it on fire or take all the books. I the like that. They're still in the whole box. What's this I'm trying to tell you. You're going to see books on the corner for 50 cents. Three for one dollar. I'm gonna stop. I hate being hysterical, typical, but you know, this is really nice up here. I like Tarrytown very much. Right now, we're going to Main Street Pizza. It's supposed to be a mom and pop shop that's been around for ages, doing it just right. Shout out to Brett Conti, who gave the reference of this place here in Tarrytown. So, oh, yeah, we're going to the Jar Place too. Hopefully, we can find it because this is a different way. Than when the 13 bus went. Yes, I'm out of breath. I'm getting lots of exercise. Right onto Main Street. I don't know if you heard that or not, but because we had to walk up these long hills. Anyway, I'll see y'all. I'm about to go grab pizza. I'm not really a fan of pizza, but I do want to try this one. I know. <laughs> Main Street. I might not like. It. Well, anyway, we are on Main Street. Music Hall is over there. Terrytown is freaking beautiful. My son agrees and he doesn't like anything. Tell him again. I'm here. I, got, I, get, I get a gyro and a roll. And that's the highlight of his day. You know, food is his thing. I had to work hard not to make him be, like his dad be obese. If not, he'd be jacked up. Whoa, but anyway, we get ready to cut this because my, my, my golden fox is calling me. And I can't ignore her. Again, we are in a beautiful Terry town. I love this place. He loves this place. Hmm. We love this place. <laughs> <laughs> Little clips add up. 
you know, my son's over there checking in our gyros. It's like a, a really authentic Greek restaurant. I wanted to go up in there, but you know, the pandemic is still fresh opening up. I got my mask on, even though I kind of fell asleep yesterday on it. Um, honestly, I'd rather not, not yet. Um, things are still getting underway. People are still getting vaccinated. Somebody got a new Omicron this and all that. So, I mean, honestly, I have no idea what to expect or what to do. But I do know this, Terrytown is gorgeous and I'm gonna enjoy it as much as I can. I got two more days up here and then we have to head back. So, I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. I think it'll be pretty good. We'll see what happens. Anyway, shout out to Terrytown. All right. Uh, I've been forgetting about y'all a little bit. It's been kind of like a low key vacation, which is good. But I'm taking y'all over to the pool. So, I hope you got your swim trunks. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? Ah, we're leaving. So, yeah. Uh, no, that's not what we're doing. I knew it. Y'all almost messed me up. Where's my speaker at? I don't know. Anyway, uh, hmm, I really don't know. It might be in my bag. I hope it is, because if not, I'm going to be in trouble. Cause I cannot afford to buy another one. Anyway, we'll play music another time. On your time. Anyway, I came back to the hotel room because I wanted to get my camera. That's what we did. So now, I'm heading over to see my family. They're in the pool. I can't get in. Got in the pool the other night. It's pretty cool. It really was. But because I have some skin issues on my leg, man, I was in excruciating pain all night. It is not worth it. So I'm not getting in. Oh, how tempted I am. I promise you that. Duh. Anyway, I'm looking at my daughter. She has a broken leg in the pool. It's hilarious to watch it hobble around. But hey, this is family, right? This is what we do. Uh... So, here, yeah, as you can see them, they're doing their thing. I had the key, but thanks. So, my son is hopping around. She's floating. No. She's floating. All right, they seem very... So, Okay. Well, that's his version of swimming, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he is trying his best, which is all that matters, right? So I'm gonna go hang out with my family. I'll see y'all soon. All right, so listen, I didn't get much videos this time. Probably for y'all favor. Y'all probably ain't gonna watch it anyway. But listen, we are going home. Uh, Terry Chan was all right. We kept it simple this time. Kept it low-key. More of a family relaxed. I got a lot of things in the works that I got to take care of on the aftermath. So I'm not really focused on, wasn't really focused on anything but relaxing. But um, yeah, we, we're heading home. we at the train station waiting for our train. This is never fun. And then we have our editor who's all jacked up. She has to use crutches so she's in pain. Uh, and you know, being a dad, you can't help but do things like. So how do you feel right now? You doing okay? Let me stop. She's upset, but I had to do it. Anyway, let me go find my loser son. He's over there, so I'm probably eating something and not sharing with anybody. Don't forget, I love you. She probably cursed, saying some bad words in her head about me right now. I wanted to pop my camera, and I wanted to take a picture of this, but I can see it now. You know, I don't even know how to read these train tickets. So I can see it now, set up everything, get the nice little angle, lighting is perfect. And next thing you know, and, and I say it's time to go. And I'm looking stupid. But um, we had a good time. We didn't get to do hardly anything. For some reason, Terror Town, I don't know. Ever since my company, I can't really do much. But I got to do the city walks. I was happy about that. Y'all gonna see that. We well, all saw that in the video a little bit ago. Um, it's over there. It's did pretty good. And then you got High Roller Willie over here doing God knows what. Playing subway surface. Subway surface. Whatever that means. Anyway, so 
Just giving you a heads up. Like I said, we ain't editing nothing. Eric, when we when you hear us say let's go, head our direction. Otherwise, you getting left right here. Okay. It does. Anyway, I hope he get left here. You know why? Because he's always talking back. And sometimes I'll be ready to put him in the headlock. But anyway, that's my son. I love him. So our train is coming real soon. Um, anyway, wrapping up this video. I'm not going to take y'all over to my house again. Like last time I went to the neighborhood. This video ends here at Terrytown. So, uh, the next time I see y'all, I will probably be running my mouth again about something or something. Anyway, y'all know what to do. Stay tuned.